Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I want to show you how to implement write-back in an OBIEE analysis. So you're probably wondering what is write-back anyway. Well, let's take a look at an existing analysis. This actually is coming from the uh, sample app that Oracle provides. Let's take a look at this existing analysis where uh, you'll see that I have an office, office sequence, and then I can hit this little button called update and I can actually change data through here, save it, and actually have it persist to the underlying database. Okay, so this is by no means supposed to be a replacement for data entry, but it's good for making just small one-off changes to existing data that needs to be corrected. Okay, so here we apply and done. Okay, so let's talk about what it takes to do that. Um, what I'm first of all going to do is open up my BI Admin tool and I'm going to open this up in online mode and then I'd like to take a look at an example uh, or an, an existing um, here's a presentation table called customers you'll see that there is a customer name as well as a gender and what I'd like to do is create an analysis where we have the name and the gender and then the user can uh, update that information. Okay, so what we want to do is find the corresponding fields. Uh, that we need to make some modifications to all three of these layers uh, to make things work with write back. So the first thing that, that I need to do is find out um, well, what table is actually, what physical table is this gender column associated with? So I'll just right click on here, query related objects, physical table. So it's the SAMP customers D. So I'm going to double click on this to check it out and edit and you'll see that right now it's set as cacheable. We don't want this to be cacheable because we want to get the most recent data. Okay, so uh, we want this to be as up-to-date as possible. Now that's a modification on the table level. Um, we could also, you know, override that override that behavior on the alias level. It's up to us. Let me just change it on the table level. I'll just say it's not cacheable. Okay, and then I close this. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is find the corresponding column on the business model and mapping layer. So right click, query related objects, business model, model and mapping, logical column, and it's this guy right here. I double click, check it out, and I want to make sure that it is writable. Okay. And then finally on this level, I want to make sure that the gender, if I look at the permissions, I want to make sure that any authenticated user can read or write. Or I can, you know, use different permissions. It's just whoever is logging in, if we want it to be writable for them, they need to have read-write permissions. So I made changes on all three of those levels. Let me save my changes. And I now need to go to the instance config file to make sure that light right back is enabled. So I'm going to go to the operating system level. Let me go to the instance directory, config, presentation services, core application, okay, and here's the instance config. I'm going to open that up with an editor. And what I'm looking for is uh, this tag that says light write back. We need to make sure it says true. So it's already set there, so I don't need to make any changes. If I did need to make changes, I would make the changes, save the file, and then restart the presentation services. Okay, so now the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to um, go ahead and create my analysis. Okay, so I'm going to go here to uh, New Analysis, Sample Sales, and I'm going to select the customer name and the gender. This is the default behavior right in here. Okay, so now the next thing that I want to do is take a look at my criteria here for gender, I go to the column properties. Here's the right back. I want to enable right back right there. Just a couple more steps and then we're done. I need to have some kind of instructions on how to perform the update. 
and that's through an XML file. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to my computer here. I'm go going to go to my instance folder right there. Then I go to BI Foundation, Presentation Services, Core Application, Analytics Res, and then I already have this folder called Custom Messages, and I already happen to have a file called Write Back Template. I'm going to right click and edit this, and um, I'm going to make sure that I have the appropriate entry in here. Okay, so um, I actually already typed this entry in a little bit earlier. You need to have a web message tag that looks like this. The set of web message tags goes in between the web message table tags. Okay, so this is the unique name for the web message. I'm going to do a control C so I remember that. And I have to specify the appropriate connection pool. I'm not allowing for insertion, so I'll just leave those tags blank, but I am allowing for updating. So my update statement will be update, and this is the underlying physical table, so SAMP customers D. Set gender equals, since it's a string, we have to put it in quotes. At sign two means the second column that's in our analysis, where name equals at sign one, so that's the first column in our analysis. So this is a really important step right here. Okay, this WB customer gender, you can call it anything you want, but make sure it's unique within all these other web messages. I So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my table here. I'm going to edit my table and then I edit my table view properties and it's right in here that there's a tab called write back so I want to enable write back and I paste the template name in there. If I want to override what the apply revert and done button say I can do that. So here I might say save changes, undo, finish. Okay, so I hit OK on that, hit Done. See now we have this Update button. Let me save what I have. I'm just going to call this Customer Write Back Example. Okay, and let's test it. I'm going to do an update. Okay, so there's one more thing that I want to do. If I click on any of these, it's going to drill down. So let me turn off the drill down behavior for this gender. I'm going to do criteria, gender, column properties, interaction, and we'll just say none for both of these. Okay, that looks good. Now let's look at our results and test it out. So update. And here's Alexa. I'm going to change that to a female. And then save changes and finish. Okay, so that got persisted to the database. Well, I hope you got a lot out of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.